How you do? Welcome to Big Time Nights here for The Bear Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, it's been a little while since I watched that first uh, Season uh, 1 uh, premiere. But uh, yeah, we're just going to get right into this. And uh, I'm, I'm really, uh, to let you know, I'm really bad with uh, names. So um, I'm not going to be familiar with the names as I'm watching this, but I'll try to pick it up and learn it. Um, I am really extremely good with faces and I can remember like actors faces from like decades ago Even when they were kids and now they're adults for some reason. I don't know. I just retain that knowledge But uh names I'm horrible in real life, too <laughs> uh, But anyways, uh, let's just get right into this. So make sure to uh, like the video Comment what you think about this episode and show and uh, give me a subscribe. All right guys. Here we go Chefs, table, 38, two people. Seven. Table, 23, four people. Seven. Broken sauce, chef. Yeah, it looks like he was a esteemed chef, you know, big time. 25, two out on 31, chefs. Seven. And now he's uh, picking up for his twin brother. I do remember that. <laughs> his twin brother, like, died, and now he's taking over that restaurant. Why? Just, I'm sorry. Isn't that the guy from Community? It looks like. I never watched that show, but I recognize his face. Fire 19 chefs. Ready. Hold on 17 chefs. Ready. Why do you hire fucking idiots? Do you like working with fucking idiots? I'll do better. Say yes, chef. Yes, chef. Can you? Maybe, maybe not. Answer me. I can handle, I can handle it, chef. Handle it, chef. 12, 10, 36. Fire, eight, Don't 13, fuck with my count. Sorry, chef. 8, 52, 13, 14. 29, chef. Why are you uh, serving broken sauces? Why? I get it. You have a short man's complex. You can barely reach over this fucking table, right? Is this why? <laughs> what is this? And you go out and you take your smoke breaks. It's fun, isn't it? But here's the thing. You're terrible at this. You're no good at it. Go faster, motherfucker. Keep going faster. Why are you so slow? Why are you Is this a teaching kind of thing, or? I'm so tough. Yes, chef. I'm so tough. See, fucking yes, chef. I'm so tough. Yes, chef. I'm so tough. You are not tough. You are bullshit. You are talentless. Say fucking hands. Hands. I don't. I don't get. Was it? Is that a way to to teach you to do better, or does that guy really just not like him? <laughs> He's putting up with it, but damn. I don't know, man. I, I, I'd rather people wear gloves and like touch the burrito like that. I know where people's hands been, even if they're a chef, but uh, Thank you, chef. like everything looks so dirty and I don't know, man. I, I'd rather, I'd rather they put on, uh, put on gloves. <laughs> Clear, I wanted to work here. Mike wouldn't let me. No, no, no. You went halfway around the world to learn all this fancy, useless fucking bullshit. I went to West Lawrence Avenue and learned every lesson. Oh, yeah. You talking about DeVry? Yeah, exactly. Oh, DeVry, we're serious about success. Oh, is that? <laughs> I would legit do anything to go to Noma. And eat bugs. And be inspired. Oh, God, and be lame. As the cream machine is broken. The variety teach you to fix that. Damn, new girl's already on a talking smack level with the guys. <laughs> At least he's good about the routine of cleaning and, uh, and stuff like that. Like, you gotta keep the kitchen clean. He, he looks like he does everything by hand. Um, which is something I noticed from Gordon Ramsay when uh, I was looking at his Kitchen Nightmares show. He was touching everything with his hands even the nas nastiest gross stuff he was always digging in with his hands um and i guess that's a good thing with chefs that they're really good with their hands <laughs> you have to be uh in order to like create the kind of stuff they they create and you have to be able to have a feel for things have a touch for things um but uh also wash your hands Clean your hands. <laughs> or wear some gloves when you're touching the food, man. Damn. Makes all these meals and everything, but his go-to meal it seems is a PB and J sandwich and a regular Coke. <laughs> What? 
That was some fake CGI looking fire though. We're hoping from 11 to 9, that's dumb. We should be hoping from 11 to 2 for lunch and 5 to 9 for dinner. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, you're spending money on pretty high-end stuff. Farmer's market produce, it's... it's Is my health fire? Uh, not yet, no, but you need help. And we do this, I mean, these savings, 20% of them could cover my yearly salary. That's not even accounting for other people's, you know? Plus, we're sleeping on to goes. That's yeah, business no, just no, sitting no, right no, there. No, no. We don't have the support system organization to absolutely focus. We need to figure out packaging. Right, on page 27, randomly, um, there, there, there's actually some a pretty good layout of just that. Page 27? Yeah, it's, it's mostly graphics. Well, I mean, at least she's trying, I guess. Is she an intern here? Or was she actually hired? Inspector is coming in here. She's not nice. She's not your friend. She may smile. Don't see the teeth. I think someone in the comments said that this guy, uh, the guy that was talking, the big guy, was uh, an actual chef. Which is cool that he got a role on a, on a show like this. He's like the fixer, the mechanic, or what, not mechanic, but, you know, the fixer of everything around the, the restaurant. Relax. Health code states any sink near a prep area needs to deliver instantly hot water to prevent the spread of bacteria. Yeah. And I haven't even delivered the big one yet. There's a big one? What, what, what is the big one? Someone left a pack of cigarettes on the stovetop near the burners. Not only very dangerous, but also a potential contaminant. Motherfucker. You can say that again. Motherfucker! Don't actually say it again, you fucking idiot! You're about to get fucking power washed! Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, these violations leave me no choice. I award you a seat. No, 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 no. Wait, no, no, no. Just wait. Come out, come out, come out. You know what? I'm, I'm going to clock that shit right now. Oh, okay? oh, oh, it doesn't matter how fast you do it. I can't come back to test for 30 days. Yeah, well, it'll take five. No, no, no. Don't touch that. It will take five seconds to clock. I can clock. Let me fucking clock. <laughs> Say, let me cock. Shh, fuck up. Yeah, but I'm saying that there's no cock in the house, hey, dude. It's okay. We'll fix it. Don't bitch me. You want to run this place, you fucking slut. Oh, you know what? Now you're sick of the fucking slut. You're 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 the fucking This is funny. Always fixes the balls. Fix it! Fix the balls! Hey man, you gotta keep it clean. You gotta keep the kitchen clean. It's the number one thing, actually, you know? And then have good food after that. But you want a clean kitchen first. What, were, were you guys like related on your, on your mom's side or like your dad's? Or... Neither. He was my best friend. Boom! There's that shit. Told you. So they're not related. You know, I thought he was like a cousin or something, but they're just very close. Okay, we got a rubber ceiling. I'm going to find somebody who works here. No. I got this. Why not get help, man? Like, what the hell? You know the restaurant could be good. Like, I know you know that. Like, it doesn't have to be a place where the food is shit. Man, she is in the weeds with this, even though she's, like, really new, really green to everyone. Like, she's getting in deep with all, a lot of, you know, the personal stuff. I got the wrong cock, I think. You did. Well, if he got the wrong cock, I mean, you could have just, okay. <laughs> she bought the right one. Shit. Sit making moves. The way she talks with everyone, it's like they, it's like she's known them for a while. Like she's asking questions, everything, but the chit chat, the side chit chat is like, I don't know, like, I need to know a time frame from the first episode to now. Has it been like a couple weeks, a day, a couple months? Like how 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 far is she into uh, working with them? And I know, like I said before, uh, or on probably different videos, maybe not here. 
I ask a lot of questions, but I'm mainly just kind of talking to myself, not really asking you guys to answer the, you know, the show questions for me, unless I specifically ask you guys. Um, but I, I could find answers for myself if I really wanted to, but now that will be spoilers. So, yeah. Did you look at the thing? No, I didn't look at the thing. Pete and I have been going lately, and it's actually been really nice. Yeah, of course Pete would go. Oh, shut the fuck up. You want me to shut the fuck up? Not you, sweetie. You didn't say anything. Oh, copy that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pete is the nice guy. I like watching the uh, <laughs> cooking stuff and cooking shows and stuff like that on an empty stomach. <laughs> and I worked out, haven't ate really ate yet today, and so this is uh, kind of getting me primed for uh, hunger. <laughs> Thank you for taking Richie today. Oh, yeah, no sweat. Do you want me to uh, come in tomorrow? Please. Yeah, you're hired. Yeah? Yes. Your past chef. Thank you, chef. Uh, can I get hands, please? So she's hired now. So she wasn't before. Was she? Was she an intern? I forget. She was. He. They were trying her out. I guess. Bruh, those are his cigarettes. Oh, damn. <laughs> are you, will, will you fess up or will you just keep that, keep that to, to yourself? <laughs> At this point, I don't know. I'm, I might just keep that. To <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, but it does sound like something uh, the other guy would do. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I've made mistakes like that in the past where uh, where you uh, uh, don't really take blame for something because you didn't know you did it. And then once you kind of realize, oh, maybe that was my mistake. And it's become like so late that do you just want to fess up or just just <laughs> just let it pass. Just let it pass. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see if he admits to it or not. But uh, anyways, uh, a solid episode. Uh, uh, I don't know the like the, the banter and everything that they have, uh, even with the, the new girl, uh, seems like they've been working together for a long time, but she's hasn't really been working with them for a long time. And I guess she just got hired now. Uh, so her, her dialogue is, is, it's a little too familiar, you know, for me uh, at this moment. But uh, I don't know, you know, it's maybe if things are different in the kitchen. You have to kind of, you have to get to know each other a lot quicker and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, solid episode. Uh, thank you for watching uh, my reaction. Uh, make sure to give the video a like, comment below what you think about this episode, and give me a subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, big time nice out. Peace.